love of concerts, interviews, commercials, events, documentaries. Why your film goes in? Goes in. You are now tuned in to Waste TV. Waste you are now tuned in to Waste TV. Waste you are now tuned in to Waste TV. Why your film goes in? It's a party on your TV. Yes, you better bet. Everything fresh. People need to learn respect. Really, bro. Respect between sense. genres of music. Mutual respect. I mean, that is what is wondering. Between yeah, fucking, you know, just different yeah, backgrounds. Man. Yeah. I mean, that is what is survive. Hell yeah. That's what it is to me. Through everything. You're wondering because sometimes there are things you can't answer. There are questions that you don't have answers to. You can't predict the future, but you have faith. You have that feeling because of a dream. You know you're going to get there. And you have a sense of direction of getting there. And it's gonna come. Because I know the laws of the universe, they work with you. When you want it, when you go after it, you're gonna get it. You just have to stay on course. You don't give up. It's not over until it is over. And it's never over. The sky is not a limit. Sure, we might be shooting this video someday, somewhere uh, in the galaxy, another galaxy, you know what I mean? Around the Milky Way somewhere. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Hey, that's way to me, man. Everybody's got to do some damn. Surviving every day, that's what's up. Long run part for me would definitely be music. To see, you know, what part of music, what aspect of music, and how serious I want to get with music. So, to be honest, the wandering and surviving do everything part of it. Part of me is the music, and I'm glad I found uh, everybody that's a part of it. That's what waste means to me, a cat that is never forget. The, the true hip-hop, you know what I mean? Shit, shit that's gonna be illegal when that Illuminati hits. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna even be able to listen to it without a barcode. So, your temple is all you got. And make sure you listen to real hip hop. You know what I mean? That YouTube shit, that Google shit, that, that nigga trying to crawl out that barrel of crash. You know what I mean? And Knuckles is with him. I got the MPC around my neck, nigga. Flip that, bring it back, though. Flip that. Flip that, bring it back, Flip that. Wandering and surviving that, through everything. Because I'm always out here wandering and I'm still surviving through everything I go through. And that's how it is. Race, entertainment, yeah. You can accomplish anything, man. That's what we represent. Wandering and surviving through everything. When you do that, you can accomplish greatness. Uh -huh. What DMV stands for. DC, Maryland, Virginia. You know, they, they just put the short on it. And the reason why I guess people came up with the DMV because, you know, they put one area in the same little vicinity. So, you know, it's all one. Instead of it being, you know, DC is DC, Maryland is Maryland, Virginia is Virginia, we all are one. We all together. DMV. It's the same area. I was doing my thing in DC in the circuit for a while and my buzz was getting bigger. The DMV, AKA Chocolate City. Uh, Washington, D.C. I was originally born in Orange, New Jersey. I grew up down there in the DMV area. Um, my musical movement started down in that area real heavy. Well, I'm from, I'm from PG County, so, you know, that's the Maryland part. But the whole movement in uh, DMV, it's a lot of talent in DMV, man. We just need to all pull together as one, like they doing the ATL and everywhere else around the world. And we'll be good, man. Yeah, we just out here grinding, man, you know. We in the city. You know, we in Maryland, the DMV, you know out in the open cold you know that's that's part of surviving too Demetrius Parker 
is a Washington DC native, born and raised in the nation's capital, uh, now living in VA. I've uh, pretty much lived all over the DMV, uh, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. And I am an individual that is looking to put the DMV area on the map in the entertainment world, both in music and in uh, and, uh, film and acting. Shout outs to uh uh wale you know what i'm saying he 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 uh he bringing more eyes to the dmv we just all need to uh come together man you know what i'm saying as one and we'll be forced to be reckoned with you know don't like don't be like the next john doe the next a b and c wale didn't just start you know wale been been grinding a lot of people say he's whack everybody got their own opinion but at the end of the day that man did what he had to do you know what i'm saying out of dc he came a long way, and now he's like on, on tour with Jay-Z and just doing his, thing. doing his thing. It's about how hot you are in your city. Can you get the people? Can you touch the people? That's what it's about. We touch the people right here. I know there's going to be somebody watching this in their room and be like, man, I'm nice. I come, no, 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 no. You got to put the same $150 you put the bottom J's, burn a couple CDs and get them drinks up. One song. Give it to everybody, man. It start off with 10, then it's 20, then it's 40, then it's 80, then it's 160. You know what I'm saying? In the streets, 20, 40, whatever. Keep down with that, man. Wait till you got at least a good 10,000 fans to start selling anything. I ain't sell nothing for the first four years. I'm out of fucking ain't sell shit. It's a lot of cats that I, that, that I deal with, and it's a lot of cats that I don't deal with. We won't, we won't name them, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, DMV is DMV, dude. What I feel like I got to keep it real that we need to get together, man. Stop being on this every man for themselves. And we feel that once everyone knows that, that they will, you know, they'll come out and they'll stop moving away and they'll start sharing their gifts here and putting more effort into bringing good quality entertainment here in our area. Like right around 2000, I started putting out my own music, um, independent albums, mixtapes. Later signed the job records. Go, uh, right. Kept putting out the mixtapes. First, yeah. yeah. First album came out in 2005. You was doing R&B mixtapes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I got right. a total. I got a total of six. It's like the bigger the movement, the more people, the bigger the movement is gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like if 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 we both going at the same direction or the same goal, why we won't do it together? You know what I'm saying? It's too many. It's like the crab in the barrel mentality where we from, man just straight like that like every man for himself you that's just how it is rumble in the jungle man make music not war make music and war yeah but i tell you <laughs> <laughs> make music for war, <laughs> for war. Come to a, you club life is off the chain you get some it's plenty clubs you go to the park 24 you can go to the, the, the love, what, whatever you want. Make sure y'all cutting them checks. Whatever you want to do, you can go. You can get there. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I want my money too, man. Yeah, I want yeah, my money. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Been named for yeah. them, so but like, yeah. They working, you know, we, you know it's, a good, it's a budding scene back there, and a lot of dudes is doing their thing. I'm just fortunate enough to be in you know, a position right now to be able to like represent. Yeah, the whole, you know the DMV, the whole music movement out there. It's, it's all right, but you know what I mean? Like, it's like every man for themselves, so. It's like, you know what I'm saying, you don't grind, you don't shine out there, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like fighting for the trenches, man. I mean, the best man wins. You see what we do. Now, before I let you say, I'm gonna say, fuck you to all the dudes in this world right now, because everyone else Dumb. Uncle Joey in the house, full effect. Don't disrespect, get your chin check. We about to wreck the spot, bar seven. We have a lot of projects here in the DC, Virginia area. It's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on in the DMV. It's, it's some cats out there that got their music popping, so on and so forth. What we did was we did our best and thought our minds on how we did it. We differentiate. We don't sound like the norm yeah, that yeah. come from our city. We don't sound from like anybody yeah. from anywhere. Yeah. If you hear me rap right now, you don't know where I'm from. Mm, mm, you don't know, mm. know where I'm from. Try so hard not to be. you gonna see us. I'm gonna make you a believer. Like
What's up, what's up, what's up, DMV? This is your gorgeous global girl, Queen Karis, right here with Waste Entertainment. It's all going down. Come on, Waste Squad, yeah, you see us. No pay to call, check the balls, put the feet up. So once again, it's for the DJ from Waste TV with Gia from Bad Girls Club. Waste. Shout out to Waste TV. <laughs> y'all are everywhere. Everywhere I go, every premiere, y'all are doing that big, y'all. Check out Waste TV, y'all. They doing it big. They taking over DMV. My name is Adolfo. I'm out here representing Cricket. And I just want to send a big shout out to Waste TV. They doing it big. Man, they said they needed a club to get shut down. And normally when they need a club to get shut down out here in the DMV, they normally call me. So, you know, I just showed up to shut a club down tonight. It's real easy. You know what I mean? Shout out to Fat. <laughs> On top of everything, you know, being mentioned, man, being honored, getting to do my thing, collaborating with NT, they hooked the brother up with a gift bag. Got Big Hand, no feature album, man, in, in its entirety. Got the Waste EN t shirt. I'm looking forward to the feature feel they about to drop. So I'm, I'm just excited, man. It's good to see folks doing big things and working together, man. It, you know, a lot of people, when we get to talking about the, the DC entertainment community, everybody want to talk about crabs in a barrel and all that shit. But putting that aside, it's a lot of folks doing big things, man. And, and, and West NT at the forefront of all that. So I'm happy to have, have been honored by them and privileged to work with them. And I know they're going to do bigger and better things in the future. I ain't never really been like And it's straight like that. Like, when I was just playing ball or just had my small little circuit for fans. Or, you know, just a regular dude going to school, you know, with some Jordans on or, you know, dating the popular girl in school. Like, I never was hated on them, but now all of a sudden it's like, yo, dude, hate his life, I hope he dies, in the plane, whatever. You have to be able to accept rejection and you also have to be able to uh, be on your grind, continue, continue. It's just like, you know, my, the rappers that are out there, which I, I love the rappers and the music people in the D.C. They are constantly grinding, and that's what you also have to do in the film arena as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, uh, Ra Ra is a nickname that I earned when I was three years old. Uh, my grandmother uh, used to come to my games when I was young, playing football, and uh, she would, she would just say Ra Ra Ra, and it kind of stuck. Um, and then since then, uh, you know, with my fraternity Omega Sci Fi, and coming up through high school and even through college, uh, I had a knack for being social and being able to produce you know, events where people can enjoy themselves. And it kind of stuck and followed through um, through my college tenure and now professionally. So now I'm just creating environments where everybody can enjoy themselves the way I figure it. Uh, whether you're happy, you're sad, you know, you're celebrating, or you're depressed, you're gonna end up coming to the club at some point in time, <laughs> you know. And uh, I want to make sure I'm able to provide that environment um, where they can take a step away from their normal day to day and really enjoy themselves. And I can proud to say that I'm allowed that. I love my Waste Entertainment family, man. Much love to y'all, man, and success. Y'all going far. Well, we got Eddie K here. Another successful event. DMV stand up. It's Waste, Eddie K, DJ Gemini, Cricket Wireless, and all of the fam right here at Waste TV at the spot. Much love. The best investment you can make is the one in yourself, you know, uh, do your research, know the business you're getting into, properly uh, package your material, your art, you know what I mean, and, 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 and I, you know, it's a lot easier to usually sell it if you're talking about something of some substance, you know what I mean, people are going to gravitate to it quicker, you know what I mean, so, you know, package it in a unique form, you know what I mean, there's no secret now, you can have a studio, basically, you know, out your crib, you yeah, know what I mean, for definitely. little or nothing. Yeah, put that work and, yeah, in. Yeah, just, just put the work in, man, and just, and just grind it out. What we try to do is we try to make sure that everyone realizes that they don't have to move to California to make it in the struggle in the, in the whole entertainment game. 
Um, and a lot of people feel that they do. They have to go to California, they have to go to New York, they have to leave the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. And that's, that's just not so, it's not true. Uh, we have a lot of projects that go on here. We have a lot of talent in front of the camera and behind the camera. And that's what I um, and a bunch of my friends that we try to let everyone know. We try to take advantage and let everyone see what we have to offer. There's always a lot of people out there that are negative sometimes and um, they like, oh, are you trying to achieve your dreams to get, to maybe change your status, just get better, and they want to shut you down. So it's all, it's all what is involved in the wandering and surviving thing through your everyday struggle, just trying to, to eat, have, have fun, enjoy your life, be happy, and try to offer charity to the people that you can to the best of your ability. So to me, it's, it's always a struggle and it's also a challenge. Facing this challenge is very important, but the courage to face the challenges is what you need. And you don't need to give up on that. You always have to stay strong and keep fighting. And, and you don't stop. Don't let nothing stop you. And I will stop. Yeah, I, can spit some. Mic right now. I can spit some. I'm back. Yes, Tay's on the mic, so you know it's over. I'm so dope. Bitches sniff me like coke. They love the aroma. You know it's over. I flow so dope. They call me Homer. Now overdose off it is dope that I call flowing. I'm out going, hopping the whip to the club. Yes, I stay fresh. I'm making these niggas piss like What's a drug up, test. Tay Razor again from the DMV. Get the mixtape. Get the mixtape. You can't have it all. Get the mixtape. Oh, and one more. <laughs> they can't handle it. Can't That's just wrong. <laughs> they love it. DMV exclusive. Whip. Shout out to Eve Lore. Oh, I love Eve Lore, man. Big shout out to Eve Lore. She gonna be something to record. She gonna be a big time co-host. Whatever lane she goes, she gonna be do very well in it. You know, I love working with her. Her energy is crazy. You know, she just showed us a lot of love. She embraced us. So straight from the city, DMV's best. You already know what it is. Waste Entertainment. We gonna hit y'all in the head with these bangers. All right, that's all I'm going. That's all we gonna keep doing. Hitting you in the head with these bangers. Where they okay? find us at, baby? They find us at Waste Entertainment. I'm telling you. Look. Y'all want some of these bangers? I'm telling you, we trying to, we, we showing New York love because y'all showing us love, okay? All Straight day. up. So we trying to work with any artist and trying to come out of, out of this day. way. One of the most inspirational waste moments that I ever had was the first time we went up to New York together. We went up there and um, Eve, Eve Lord from um, Posse TV, Eve Lord from Posse TV, she did our interview. She interviewed No, and um, I mean, for real, that for me, that was just so inspirational, man, because it was like, for me, I saw that it was real. You know, it was something that was, that was really happening. We really caught that, you know, we, 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 uh, we all took that, that rental car. We drove up there, took the time out, did the interview, and he came on back. I mean, that just was it together. We was all together doing that, you know. So it's showing you the beginning stages right there, and it was just inspirational to me, help me just move forward. Because I'm like, okay, this is real. I can really put my own. What's going on, Bossy TV? It's Eve Laura. As you know, I play Miss Ortiz in 50s movie before I self destruct. Oh, man, that was beautiful being as though she's in her own lane doing her own thing. Like, just to be seen on the same screen with her. Numerous of music videos, including Jada Kiss, Jim Jones, 50 Cent, Cortez, etc., 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 Huey, the list goes on. Google me. It was beautiful to be able to, to meet a person as talented as that. You know, Eve Laura is in the big thing, so just to be seen on the same screen, like I said, with her was a blessing for Waste in itself to get her to represent Waste. I had a lead in Naughty by Nature's new video, Tretch. He brought out Ice-T, also the um, boy who played the young 50 and Get Rich or Die trying is in that. I play a gangster chick, I'm one of the homies. Definitely shout outs to Tredge. Make sure y'all get that song, it's called Flags. The purpose is to stop violence, you know, between the gangs and stuff. So it's very positive. And he brought out Ice-T, so look out for that. He's doing interviews with all types of people. So for her to embrace the, the movement like that, my hat goes off to her, period. E-V-E-L-O-R-A And if you want to get on Posse TV Holla at Time Check See ya it's, You know Posse TV We love y'all Just the whole movement man We just appreciate all y'all Everybody What up what up world again It's the beat banger right here 
This track you hear in the background, I produced this joint. If y'all feeling it, definitely NYC. Show us some love. We showing y'all some love, definitely. So um, if y'all like this joint, y'all hit us up at waste-entertainment.com. All right, www.waste-entertainment.com. Y'all can get some more tracks from the from the banger right here. Y'all be trying to hit y'all in the head with these bangers, all right? It's on y'all hearing right here. Hit, you and my man No going first, and then my man Tay Reyes go second, and our man Mo going last, all right? So again, we trying to hit y'all up. We, we, this is our first track that we dropping right here in NYC, all right? So with some love, man. We're going to show y'all the love, all right? One, love y'all. And if she gets stroked, then she chose to come chill. Would she like us, because she knows love here. Both slugs here. Man, when I, see, when I see that video, man, it just bring me back to the old days, man, like the Michael Jackson days. It had substance to it. It don't have a lot of jewelry and... Not there's anything wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? But I just, I'm from like the 94, the Wu-Tang era, all that with lyrics and, you know what I'm saying? You had to be good, creative, and all that type of stuff. But I just love the video, man. It's refreshing, it's funny, it's humorous, and you get the point, you know what I'm saying? Ain't it all beat break tyrant? 808 giant, first class flying. Ain't it though? That's right, I'm on the line. They high, especially at night. Cause I take what I like. I want it all. Dr. Amy. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. All right. Uh, you know, he's the creator, you know what I'm saying? Makes it. Take something that was from nothing. Poof. Superstar. So, you know, and we all need that. You know, we all need a Dr. Amy. Inspiration, someone to inspire, someone that can take what we have, that, that raw material that we have, and create from us. And to me, it's just a pop of my collar. Ain't it though? From here, from here to here. Call 1 800 111 whack? Well, I ain't, I ain't whack, but I mean, I might as well try. Let me see. My phone is can't be silent, even if childish, too much talent. Ain't it though? Momentum, no product of the system. Wow, yeah, not the ain't it though. But basically, basically the whole story, boy, that was that was that was really of a, a creative one of my creative roles I played in real position. With, with that actual video, you know, with the collaboration of Posse TV and Time Check, you know, I, I had a vision with that video. I used to be a chemist, now I utilize wax to polish my image. Yeah, hello, is this doctor? Can you throw his office? Yeah, um, yeah, um, about the video that, um, Dr. Anido. Yeah, that was hot too, though. <laughs> I really like that video. In fact, in that video, I played the role of a doctor, and uh, as for me, it's something like, you know, I wasn't ready for it, you know, <laughs> to play that role, and um, we was up in New York with a waste team, and uh, I was just, you know, just vibing and chilling with all the hard days work, and we was actually working on a Big Hand Nose video uh, with um, Teresa featuring Momentum too, so we was just, you know, doing our thing upstate New York, and... Uh, then the idea came and we were supposed to shoot that scene for some reason and um, the manager, you know, Carlos McCormick, he's the one that thought about it for some reason that I could just play the role of that doctor, you know, and uh, he like, hey Frank, you know, do you want to do this? I know you can do this, man, yeah, you know, and stuff. And it came to me naturally because I, I've been acting ever since back from school all through, so it was just something that I can do. I don't need to prepare to go act. It's just, it's just me, just keeping it real. So, but it was amazing. It was a lot of fun playing that doctor, that Frankenstein kind of <laughs> doctor. You know what I mean? So, which I mean, he offered me that, and I did. I took it, and man, sure, that's what so was hard, right? I guess. <laughs> For everybody that's not watching yet, please Google that, check it out for yourself. You can see me doing my Frankenstein thing. In fact, I think I was like the best doctor that you've ever had on planet Earth right now. I probably was like from some other planet on that day on set. But it was a lot of fun doing that. You know, just like, hey, come on, get this. And I had my white thick rope thing put together and doing the Dr. Annie deal, you know?
creative process behind making Amy Dope. I wanted to make something that was like, that was different, but simple. Uh, one of the things I love about uh, music is like, sometimes the simplest beats be the, be the, you know, the most charismatic, you know? Sometimes the, 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 the beats only have one or two things in it, three or four instruments, be like the, the hottest joints that you can ever have. So that's what I try, try to do with this one. It was just one of them joints was like, only had a couple things here and there, like just drums, kicks, you know, um, a, a quick little something in the background. I originally had had Jay-Z's voice in the back, but you know, we didn't really want to use it, so it's all good. We had to take that out, but um, I mean, that was the main thing, man. I just wanted to be, have something that sounded different, a little off the, bat, off the beaten path, but at the same time, real simple. Some of the things that I love about hip hop. Again for coming out to the yeah. end. <laughs> yup. Yeah. This is the last lady thought of day. Yeah. My girl lady. KK in the building. That's what it yeah. is. She fucked up holding shit. She get it down. We had the baddest yeah. jobs in the video. She elevator. Yeah. Waste yeah. all day. I got nothing but love for that waste entertainment, man. That waste TV. Elevator to the top. Thank you for tuning in again to this doc this is wonderful documentary platform. You know, the Dean We the NYC, the Journey Begin documentary, Waste Entertainment, closing out in junction with Posse TV. Big shout out to Time Check, you know, for for believing in this phenomenal vision that Waste and T has. You know, it's always it's always good when when I can call somebody and I know they got you they got your back for the idea and the dream that you have. You know, so big shout out to New York and like I said, we're bridging that DMV gap. That DMV gap to NYC, the bridge is here. And like I said, the change is here. You know, the change is here in the DMV Venus of Waste and T. We all wondering, surviving through everything, and you waste too. Signing off. It's your boy, Big Hand No. You're definitely rocking with Posse TV. And um, we want to shout out all the people who want it and surviving through everything. Waste and T, where you heard it first. Posse TV, Big Hand No. We out. Big hand no waste entertainment TV. G Sparks. Yeah. Man, that's right. Waste Yo. entertainment. Waste, what up, big hand no sorted. Waste entertainment. Here we go, motherfuckers. Waste sorted. All the way to Bring the top. man. Yo, I gotta say, Keep man. Real. Drink Afghanistan. That's what woke me the fuck up, man. There ain't nothing that will wake you up like being in a goddamn foxhole yeah. with a button next to you. The motherfucker is like, like Max here, man. I mean, this guy. I, I trust this you, motherfucker man. in a foxhole. Yeah. You know? When I was in Afghanistan for a fucking year, his brothers like this, they'll watch your backside. You know? And that's yeah. that's what waste means to me. Wandering and surviving through everything. No matter what happens, you just gotta keep on pushing on. That's what it is. I'll give you five minutes to get your hand off my cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, you better show me love. From the east, 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 from the east.